Good morning, everyone. We are going to get started with some monster walking. So you're going to tap into your inner monster first thing. So what that means is you're taking a bit of a squat and then you're taking one leg out and then the other leg out as you advance forward. So as, as you step forward, you're bring, you're scooping one foot in towards the other foot and then scooping it back out. So you're like making little like half circles as you step in and out. I'm going to back up again so you can see that in case you need to see that again. So we'll be doing this later with a band, but kind of just getting your body used to moving in this way right now with a little monster walking. And you can do it stepping backwards as well. Just instead of stepping straight back, make sure to scoop that one foot in towards the other foot on your way to putting your other foot behind you. Good, okay. Okay, warm up question this morning. If you had to choose a chore to do for two hours straight, uh, something in the yard, something in the house, what would it be? Um, I think I would definitely choose cooking. I love cooking. I could stand for hours in the kitchen chopping and cooking. And so if I had to pick something, that's what I would pick. Catherine, what would you pick? It kind of goes along with what Lorena said. Uh, she couldn't be here today, but she told me what her answer was. And she kind of likes gathering things for Goodwill um, to get ready and to give away. So similar, similar to what she said. Jill, what about you? Your uh, chore that you would do for two hours. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, Beth, patience. What chores would you choose to do for two hours straight? Yes, get that car clean. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was my close second. And I have to say, patience, uh, Liz can't be here with us today, but that was also her answer. She let me know. So you have a fellow lawn mower. <laughs> You guys can be out for hours mowing together. All right, let's get our next warm up exercise started. So, we're going to be doing a single leg deadlift here. So, I'm going to have you stand on your left leg and you're going to take your right leg behind you. So, that right leg should be pretty straight, but the leg you're standing on can be a little bit bent. So, we're going to kind of just assume this position and then stand back up. We have done these before. If you remember my, some of my pointers from last time, where that foot that goes behind you, you're really twisting those toes, twisting that foot in towards your other foot. And that kind of helps have the right position here. Trying to lower your body till about your torso about parallel to the ground and keep your core tight as you lower and raise yourself. Okay. Becky, what chore would you do for two hours if you had to? Pick. That's a good one. Okay, switch sides. So now you're gonna stand on your right leg and you're gonna take that left leg behind you. So that right leg can have a nice little bend in it, but the left leg going behind, keep that pretty straight. And we're standing back up. All right, Katie, what would you do for two hours if you had to pick? Yeah, I could read for two hours as well. <laughs> All right, loving these answers. Candace, what would you do uh, if you had to pick a chore to do for two hours straight? Okay, all right, 
All right, so now we're gonna get one more warm up exercise before we get started. So we're going to go into a squat jack and then do an arm rotation movement with that. So squat jack is simply squatting down and then coming back up like this, so squatting, coming like this. So after you squat and come up like this, I'm gonna have you rotate all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So squat like this, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. So just getting ourselves into that little bit of spinal rotation as we go left to right, making sure those areas are warmed up for our workout today. All right. Oh. Eve, what would you do if you had to pick a chore for two hours to do? Both very like satisfying things, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, keep up. Just another few seconds here. All right, let's end our warm up and get started with the workout today. So, everything, take that band. Everything is band related today. We're using lots of bands. So, the first thing we're going to do, let me get everybody back on mute here. Okay. First thing we're going to do is do a walking lunge with a front raise like that. And then we're going to take that same band and go into a kneeling row like this. All right, so grab like a medium-ish band that you can use for both of these exercises. And we're gonna get started with this in just a second here. So we do have 90 seconds of work here. So it's a little bit of endurance based. So we're gonna get started with two rounds of these exercises. So we're gonna be walking and pulling that band apart as we raise our hands over our head and go. So you're alternating which leg goes forward, stepping left and then stepping right. And as you step up and stand up, then you raise the band over your head. So some of you may have smaller working spaces and you may only be able to go a few steps before you have to turn around and head back. That's fine. Just move in the space you have. You can go diagonally across the room, whatever. So our intervals today are a little bit longer. We've got 90 seconds of work. So that is where my warm up question comes in today. Endurance, being able to do a movement or a chore or an exercise for an extended period of time without getting muscle fatigue. So the kind, the way that we train our bodies to behave like that and to have endurance is by doing things for a longer period of time. So short interval work is where we get more of that cardio benefit. And then where we do things for longer like this is where we teach our muscles to endure and to push past that fatigue and then we can train ourselves to spend a long time mowing or a long time washing dishes or a long time doing housework. And three, two, one. Okay, so now you're gonna step on the band with your right foot under that right foot and then kneel on your right knee with your right forearm and pulling back to your left hip with your left hand. We're gonna switch halfway through here. So you can either do what I'm doing, kind of like standing up like this, or if it's more comfortable to drop that back knee and pull like this, that works just as well. Whatever you do, we're really trying to engage the back muscles. So that's why I have you keeping that direction of that left hand going to that left hip, that little pocket, imaginary pocket in your pants. And also 
pushing those shoulder blades down your back and squeezing them together as you pull that left hand back. Oh, all right. So we're gonna switch to the other side. So step on the band with your left foot and you're gonna pull on it with your right hand towards your right hip now. Excellent. Keep it up. So the point of today, it is a more of a strength day, but like I said, I have that endurance mixed in. So you do wanna choose a band that you can try to keep moving throughout the whole 90 seconds. You want to be able to keep moving in some way through that whole 90 seconds. And three, two, and one. So now we're gonna go back to the top, gonna do that walking lunge another time, walking lunge to the front race. So take that band in between your hands and you're raising up and go. Step and raise up, good. Step and raise up. Yes, as I was saying, this is endurance today. So the only way to be able to train yourself to do things for longer periods of time is to do things for longer periods of time. And that's what you are doing today. Working hard to keep moving through that 90 seconds. And as you'll see with some of the other exercises that we get to, you may need to modify as you get towards the end of that 90 seconds to be able to keep moving and that is fine. I want you to do whatever works for you to be able to keep moving because that's the point of the endurance work is to just keep moving in whatever way that looks for you through that whole 90 seconds. 15 seconds to go and then we'll head back to the rows. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get that band. Step on it under the ball of your right foot. You're gonna be pulling back with your left hand. You can either kneel on the left knee or hover. And you're rowing in three, two, and go. Left hand to the left hip. All right, keep it up. All right, so these are nice, slow and controlled reps. Whenever we work with the focus more on strength, we try to really feel all the movement and focus on our form. So we're working those muscles the way they should be worked and we're switching sides now. So step on that band with a left foot. Now you're gonna pull back with the right hand. All right, looking great, everyone. Keep it up. All right. 15 more seconds, then we're gonna change it up with a couple other exercises. Same timing format, just a couple different exercises. Three, two, and one. Okay. Grab a drink of water. We're gonna get started here with the second block of work. Gonna take your lightest band <clears throat> and it should work for you. Uh, we just use the lightest one here. And we're all gonna start this together. I want you to have the band, maybe like an inch above your wrist like this. Um, and that's gonna be the position. We're gonna do push-ups while the band is here. 
So you're going to be picking whatever push-up variation works for you. And like I said, this is one of the ones where it's 90 seconds long. So you may need to kind of start, if you want to start on the mat and then go to the chair or go to the wall, that's fine. But just whatever keeps you moving through that whole 90 second interval. So everybody get in position. So you're going to have a little tension on your arms because of this band, just a little bit, because I had chose the lightest one. Three, two, one. So we're going to do push-ups. I do want you to start out with whatever version feels the most challenging for you. And then when it becomes necessary to switch up what variation you're doing in order to keep moving, go ahead and do that. And just a reminder for anyone, if you're needing to know what it looks like on the chair, this is what you would do to have it on the chair. All right. Okay, we're halfway through. All right, keep it up. This is where the endurance comes in. Just keep moving whatever way you can all the way through the interval. You've got this down to less than 20 seconds. Just training those arms to get those windows washed, get that car washed, right? You can wash for two hours straight. If you train, the, train your arms with endurance. Let's do this, three, two, one. Okay, keep that band in that same position on your hands, but stand up. Now we're gonna start with that single leg deadlift that we did in the warm up, but, you're gonna do this as you stand up. So you're gonna leg behind you and put those arms out to the side. So as you take your leg behind you, you're gonna also take your elbows behind you. So let's start standing on the left leg, taking the right leg behind you. So as you lower your body to the floor and you're taking that right leg behind you, you're also separating your forearms against the resistance of that band. What I really like about this move is it helps you have a really good flat back when you do this exercise. Because as you're squeezing those shoulder blades together to get those arms behind you, whew, that helps your back stay straight. Switch sides, so other leg. Stay on your right leg, take your left leg behind you. As you take that left leg behind you, you're pulling the arms apart, taking those elbows behind you. Okay. Anybody else feel a massive shoulder burn right now? Ooh, I know I do. I got one more time for both of these exercises before we move on. And we're done with this one in three, two, and one. Okay, we're going back to one more set of our push ups. So assume your push up position, that band should still be just about an inch above your wrist or inch below your wrist, rather. You are going to get started with me in three, two, and let's do those push ups. Now we just fatigue the shoulders a lot already. So if you need to start in a different position, like I said, this is all about you doing you this morning. You're here, you're moving. I'm really proud of you. And whatever you need to do to just keep moving through the whole interval, you should go for it. All right. We are halfway through already. Keep moving. And endurance work is hard as you can feel, right? Like how many times have you almost said, wow, like I can almost quit or be done, but yet you're not, you're keeping moving. And that's what it's about, pushing that boundary of when you feel 
like you're done, but still going a little bit further. And that's exactly the zone where we wanna push through to be able to increase our endurance. All right, 10 seconds to go. And three, two, and one, okay. One more time on those single leg deadlifts. So keep that band just an inch below your wrist. Stand on your left leg and take your right leg behind you. As you take your right leg behind you, elbows go behind you as well. Three, two, and let's go. Really important here to keep your core very braced and tight. Anyone who's ever had like a back injury or low back issue, even more important. It's important for everybody, but especially if you have any sort of tendency to low back issues, you should be bracing super hard here as you raise and lower that the leg. Okay. And now we're switching sides. Stand on your right leg, take your left leg behind you and go. Mm, there we go. You're doing great. Just keep moving. Right now, the challenge feels mostly in the shoulders. So, you're just pushing against that band as much as you can. It's okay if it's not as much as you pushed against it in the beginning of the interval, but you're just moving continuously and working hard here. Oh, less than 10 seconds. Got this. Three, two, and one. Okay. All right, so we've got the same timing format on the next couple blocks, we're doing those 90 second intervals, but I've added in a little bit of a treat at the end of the block, uh, the next two blocks, we're gonna be incorporating one of our fitness assessment exercises, the donkey kicks, just to uh, make sure we're staying on top of improving that area of strength for our fitness assessment. So we're going to take a medium to heavy band. Uh, we're gonna be doing Gonna everybody take that medium to heavy band. We're gonna take it above the, or actually right below the knees. You can probably see me, all right? It's not the greatest color to see on the screen. I've got orange pants and a red band, but you can see maybe that I've got it right below my knees. So I'll give everyone a second to get banded up there. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is 90 seconds of squatting and then 10 calf raises like this. So I've, I've got a squat, I'm pressing out against the resistance of the band and then I'm doing 10 calf raises and then we'll stand up for a few seconds and then go back down for 10 calf raises. We'll do that back and forth for 90 seconds. So let's get started with that, everybody. Join me here, separate those legs so you've got some good tension on the band, go into that squat, and then we'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and stand up. And back down. You want to squat as deeply as you can and hold that. And five, four, three, two, and one. Stand back up and back down. One, two, and five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Feeling it. And back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Okay, one more time. You've got this, we're almost there. And back down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oof, okay, so take that same band. You can, we're gonna do a shoulder press now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pressing that band above your head like this. So left band, left hand traps that band against your chest here. Actually, yeah, so we're gonna go like this. Make sure your palm is facing away from your body. So we're gonna go in three, two, and one, go. So this one is gonna be a halfway switch one, kind of like we did with the rows. Halfway through you'll switch. So you maybe can use a heavier band here since it's not a full 90 seconds on each side. So when you're pressing, you can see here, I'm kind of pressing in line with my head. I'm not really pressing in front of my head. Try to keep that press straight up to the ceiling. Kind of think about traveling the line of your ear up. Switching sides in three, two, and one. Doing great. So think about that hand kind of starting just below the ear and then traveling up above the ear on that same side. Good, everyone looks great. Keep up, keep up the great form. Really proud of you. Whew, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna take probably a lighter band than you just had. So a medium to light band, and we're gonna put it around both of our feet. So pay attention here. This is a little different than how we did donkey kicks last time. So I have it around the arches of both of my feet so that I can kind of just alternate donkey kicks. So one side, then the other side, then the other side like this. And this is gonna be a 60 second interval as opposed to 90 seconds. So we are gonna get started with that here in just a couple seconds. Go ahead and take that medium to lighter band around your feet. We're going in three, two, and alternate sides. Here again, we're still going slow and controlled. So with this donkey kick, you're placing the sole of your shoe on the ceiling and keeping that bend in your knee as you raise your foot towards the ceiling. So the leg does not straighten out at all as you kick up. Here we go, over halfway done. Also, the, another reason you have to kind of go slow here is having the band around both of your feet. Maybe some of you have seen already, it slipped off of mine. So you kind of have to go slow and controlled to keep that band on your feet. It helps if you separate your feet a little bit to kind of maintain constant tension on that band, even when both feet are on the mat, okay. Here we go, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna grab, go one more time through that block of exercises, starting with those squatting calf raises. So get, grab your heavier band uh, for that. So we can take it through that one more time. Uh, everyone's doing great with these exercises, I love it. Okay, so reminder, this band is going just below your knees. And we're starting here in three, two, and squat. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand up. All right. And back down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
And one, stand up. Whew. Back down, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, up. Couple more times here. Here we go. Back down into your squat as deep as you can. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time here. Stand up for a second. And now we're back down. Really try to push against that band too as you're raising those calves. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, okay, Let's take that band into that shoulder press. Trap the band against the middle of your chest with your left hand. And then that right hand is taking that band and pressing it from just below your ear to a right above your ear, starting in three. Two and let's do it. So here, if you've got the band holding on your left hand, your right hand should be pressing above your head, but on to the right side of your head. So think about that orientation for your hand to be your right hand to be pressing above the right side of your head. Whew. And here we go, switching sides in three, two, and other side. Okay, let's do this. So if you can manage to stick your chest out just a little bit and squeeze your shoulder blades together, this exercise not only works your shoulders, but you can feel it kind of working through some of those upper back muscles between your shoulder blades. Really good for posture. Tell you what, if you're standing at the sink a long time, doing dishes or kitchen, doing cooking, helps to have strong muscles to keep you standing upright. Posture tends to suffer after a while doing those, but not if you're doing these exercises. You're doing great. Keep it up three, two, oh, and one. Okay, back to the alternating donkey kicks. So grab that lighter band and we're going to Put it around both feet, head to that donkey kick. We're starting in three, two, and go. Like I said, if you're having any issue with the band slipping off your shoes, just make sure there's always tension on the band, even when both of your feet are on the mat, kind of Put a little space in between your feet so that the band stays taut. Okay, you're doing great. Only 20 seconds left. Keep your core tight as you press your foot up behind you. It's gonna help keep your Low back safe, keep it from arching as you do this. You just maintain that core tension and here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, I have new exercises for you. One more block of this style of work. And we're gonna be doing, we've all been waiting for the monster walk. So this one, um, a lighter band than you used for the squatting and the shoulder press. Maybe not your lightest band, but maybe more like a, a medium band. Because what I would like to see is you still be able to get that full range of motion that we warmed up with, right? Stepping side to side. So you don't want a band that's so tight that you can't get that kind of big circle around with your leg. So the band is gonna be on your ankles and you're gonna be doing those steps as you squat and advance towards me on the screen in your scariest Monday morning form, okay? None of you are scary, but 
for this exercise, you can be. All right, so we're gonna get started here. Grab your bands and we're walking in three, two, and keep as low of a squat as you can. Remember you're advancing forward or backwards. You're just scooping one foot in towards the other foot as you do that. Good. Okay. See some pretty scary, scary monsters there. Love it. So this is constant work for the thighs and the hips. I don't have to tell you, I know you're feeling it, but super important to train endurance here, right? These are the muscles that do a lot of work in supporting our body when we're just daily activities, walking, climbing upstairs. So we're building endurance for those kinds of activities with this exercise. There we go, 20 seconds left. All right. Try to keep squatting down. It's easy to let yourself stand up and sometimes towards the, like this is maybe one of those, towards the end of the interval, you need to stand up a little bit to keep moving, but challenge yourself to stay as low as you can. Three, two, and one, keep that band, then take it, that same band on your legs and you're gonna be doing, uh, keep it around your ankles and you're gonna be doing planking, taking that leg out to the side. Now watch me here, you can do plank on your knees, taking your leg out to the side, or you can do a plank on the chair, taking your leg out to the side. And this is definitely one where, as I was talking about, you need to do whatever variation works for you to keep moving through the interval, okay? So that same band is on your ankles. And we're starting in three, two, and one. So planking with your feet going out side to side. So one leg at a time, swinging out to the side of the mat. You can be doing a plank on your toes or a plank on your knees and taking one leg out, or like I said, a plank on the chair. Whatever variation works for you. Okay, we're halfway done already. All right, it's getting hard. Just keep moving whatever variation works for you. Oh, here we go, 20 seconds left. You've got this final 10. Three, two, and one. Okay, if you can keep that same band, if you need a different band, we're gonna do that 60 second alternating donkey kick again. So I'm gonna use the same band, but if you need a different band, that's fine. Take a second, grab it. We're gonna get started with the kicks in three, two, and alternating kicks up. Doing great. So this is a big hip block here. Every single exercise, including these donkey kicks, getting you right in the hips. But they are the drivers for us when we're walking, when we're running, when we're jogging. To have a powerhouse here, strong hips helps your back. So I'm always programming in hip work for us so that we can keep our backs healthy. Less than 10. Three, two, 
And one, okay. So we're back to the top. We're gonna do our monster walks one last time. So everybody put that band on your ankles, get in position for that monster walk. And we're starting in three, two, and let's do this. There we go. You're looking great, keep it up. You know those legs are tired. You know those hips are tired, but just keep challenging yourself to keep moving. Sitting as deeply as you can possibly manage down as you monster your way back and forth in your room there. Okay, halfway through. This last half is where that real endurance bit kicks in. You wanna slow down, you wanna give up, but you're not gonna do that because you're strong, you are powerful, and you're here on this Monday doing it. Good things for you to start your week. There we go. Only 15 seconds left. You've got this. And we're done in three, two, and one. So keep that band on your ankles for the planking hip abduction. Get in position for your plank. And we're gonna plank away here in three, two, and let's do this. This is nice, slow and controlled. Anytime we're doing planks and moving the legs, the real challenge is to keep your hips stable, even throughout that movement where some of the times you only have three points of support with your arms and one leg. Whew. So you're really aiming to keep those hips square to the mat, even though you've got that leg movement happening. So draw that belly button into the spine, Embrace your core. Think about those hips being level. We're halfway through. You can do this. Just keep moving whatever way you need to move. I am happy that you're here moving with me. And here we go. We've got last 20 seconds left. Final 10. You can endure, you can do this. And three, two, and one. Wow, okay. Donkey kicks are next. Last time for donkey kicks today. Slip that band over both shoes around the arches. And we're gonna go in three, two, and one. Nice, slow and controlled. If you wanna get a little bit more out of it, you can just squeeze that glute a little extra at the top of that range of motion. Really working here to get those glutes fired up. Whew. And we're halfway through. Can you believe we only have five minutes of the workout left? Wow, we're moving fast. Look at that. All we have left after this is a little bit of core work, just a couple minutes. And we're into the final 15 seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay, everybody grab a medium to heavy band. We have just three, 
core exercises we're gonna do for one minute each, and that'll take us to the end. So we're gonna grab a medium to heavy band and we will get started with that in just a second here. Okay. One minute with 10 seconds to transition in between exercises. So you're gonna place that band around your ankles and lie on your back on the mat with your legs up. So, you know, do that together here. Band is on the ankles, legs are up, and we're crunching, reaching up to one hand of the opposite ankle, and we're going. So you're crunching up, keeping those arms straight, reaching your fingertips of your right hand to your left ankle, and reaching your fingertips of your left hand to your right ankle. Make sure that you have a fixed gaze at some spot on the ceiling the whole time you're crunching up and down. That's gonna help keep your neck in a nice neutral position. You know, won't get any neck soreness in the front of your neck from doing these crunches. That's what we want. Okay, you're doing great. We got about 20 seconds left. Final 10. And three, two, and one. So you can take that band off, place it to your side because we will use it again. Now I'm gonna have you get into one last plank, final plank. You can do this on the chair or the mat. Go ahead and take knee to elbow. So right knee to left elbow left knee to right elbow, and go. So here we're working those planking muscles, but then because we have to twist a little bit to get in that position where you're doing opposite elbow and knee together, you're getting into some of those obliques and some of those more side core muscles. Help with your rotation strength and your core. 20 seconds left. Less than 10, you've got this, keep moving. Three, two, one. Last exercise, Russian twist. If this bothers you, please, your back do bicycle crunches. If not, Join me here, take that band. One last take that band, put it right above your knees. You're pressing out with your knees. And we're starting here in three, two, one. You wanna lean back as far as you can without collapsing backwards on the mat. And you're tapping both hands to the left sides of your hip and then to the right side of your hip. You're following your hands with your eyes because that ensures that your whole spinal column twists, right? If you don't follow it with your eyes, then your cervical spine is not twisting. So we're giving our hands a good stare the whole 60 seconds here to really get that full twist. You're doing great. Keep those knees pressed apart. You wanna feel that resistance of the band. Excellent work. Challenge yourself to lean back as far as you can for the last few seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay. Whew. Great workout today, everyone. We're going to stretch for a few minutes. Stay on your mat. We're going to stretch the right hamstring first. So you're going to bend that left leg in and just reach down that right leg so that you can fold your body over towards your right leg and feel that right hamstring stretch. All right, so those deadlifts today, we gotta stretch out this area. If you were doing the deadlifts properly, you would have felt it back in this hamstring area that's stretching. So we wanna give that some good attention today. 
our next workout is on Thursday. Um, it's a workout every, every month I throw at least one game workout in where it's a little bit interactive throughout the workout. So it's kind of fun, um, gives, and, and the exercises are sometimes you don't know what's coming um, because the outcome of the game kind of determines what's coming next. We're gonna switch legs, left leg is out, tuck that right leg in, stretching that left hamstring, leaning over that left leg. So this, uh, this workout that I've come up with for Thursdays is trivia based. So any of you who are uh, fans of trivia will maybe do well. It's kind of random trivia. So I think you will find it to be an entertaining way to get through our workout together. And as far as what exercises we'll end up doing, it'll be a little bit of a mix of strength exercises and some of things will be like faster kind of cardio based things. A little mix of both. Okay, so just gonna lay on your back. We're gonna get into the hips just a little bit. A lot of hip work today. Straighten out that right leg. What I want you to do is pull the left leg end of the chest. So right now that probably doesn't feel like much of a hip stretch. So what we're gonna do to get into that left hip is you've got it hugged all the way to your chest. What you're gonna do is rotate that left hip over to the right side of the mat, still kind of hugging it to your chest. And at some point during that rotation, you're gonna really start feeling it pull in that left hip. And when you've got a good comfortable stretch, just kind of hang out there and take a couple of deep breaths. Enjoy the feeling of that hip stretch on that left side. So I've got a, uh, a couple, like an announcement I'm gonna have tomorrow um, for some dates for some form classes. So I have one class I wanna do on planks and push-ups, and another one on squats. They'll be about half an hour long each. Just kind of breaking down the form and going over ways to improve and keep yourself from injury doing these exercises. Um, you want to maintain injury free ways to do things. So just give you an extra layer of knowledge going into these exercises on what you can do to do them the best way for yourself. All right, hug that right knee, right knee into the chest, rotate it over to the left side. Let me get that stretch in that right hip. deep breaths. One last stretch. Take it up to standing. Take your one arm across your body and pull it across like this. You can play with the angle whether you want your arm that you're pulling to be straight up or you can pull it down a little bit. Whatever angle feels best for you and that shoulder of the arm that you're pulling on. Ah. Also, don't forget, I do have a little contest going on on the Coach D Moves Facebook group uh, where you can post a picture of a rainbow or anything that kind of reminds you of pride. Um, and that will get you a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card and also a donation from me to the Prasad Center. Switch arms. So pull the other arm to get that other shoulder. Yeah, you can post any time there. And... A little Pride Month celebration in the group. Okay, great job today, everyone. Super proud of you. Happy Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you on Thursday.